Alright, just watch the second video. Your buddy made the statement that uh, if such a thing happened, which again, please do not take the context of a statement out of its original context of what it was intended to be. That was an example. It, you need to listen to the video to understand why that was put there. You can't just take that out. People do that in politics all the time. Mudslinging and all that bull crap. Anyway, you make the statement that uh, if such a thing did happen about a raping and killing of black females, taken clearly out of context, that a whole bunch of people would rush to black people's aid and say it's such a travesty and that it's so wrong. Okay, we just recently had a seven-year-old girl shot in the face. I don't see a bunch of white people, Hispanics, or Asians lined up protesting ab about police brutality. And by the way, they've been r racially profiling black people for centuries now. But people, Hispanics, are only now getting into an outroar about it because in the new bill that was passed in Arizona, it's basically going to be targeting them. And they're protesting about that, but they never protested for the centuries of, of what was happening to black people, even though black people gave every single minority in this country civil rights through our bloodshed. Um, there are so many examples. I'm not even going to list them all. Just Google it. <laughs> I mean, Haiti. I, 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 don't, I, didn't, I didn't see any legal immigrants, white people, uh, Asians protesting at why they're not allowing Haitians, uh, our people, to come to this country and they face a natural disaster, yet they are going to pass an amnesty law to allow illegal immigrants to come to this country. I don't see all these people protesting and, and we, th thousands of black people died. Okay. Yet our people still run to the aid and the rescue of everyone else. The only time people help us and support us is if we include something of their agenda. We never have to include any of their agenda to support them. But in order to get their support, we have to include one of their agendas. That's like a spit in the face. Hell, the Hispanics only voted for Obama because of the immigration stuff. Um, yes, we need our, our own protection, and it's not a new idea. Uh... Marcus Garvey, the Black Panthers, and the reason why they did that is because of police brutality, uh, government abuse, which still goes on to this day. I mean, just do the, the research on what was happening back then. I would hope you would know, but just in case, do the research on that and you would know why one would need his own protection against the government and, and other people, okay? That goes for our people in Africa as well. that are clearly being exploited. Do I think such things going to happen anytime soon? Well, with the way most black people are thinking, including yourself, I doubt any time soon. When have I used sl slavery as a crutch? I, I use it in its historical context in relation to what's happening today. Post-traumatic slave syndrome. Read that book. The, the, the Jewish people had got a similar thing classified to them. And what that means is certain genetic uh, or, or things in your DNA can be passed on. Uh, through two or three generations uh, for example if your great grandmother experienced a famine you could uh, have some type of genetic trait in you as a result of that and it's been proven factual scientifically and it's, this has happened with black people yet we get no recognition for it but the Jewish people got that after World War II I don't see Jewish people lined up in droves uh, protesting against us not having that that type of uh, scientific uh, terminology uh, help, uh, making it helpful to us. Again, you think everything's so great. Uh, the Obama presidency, he's he has the most deaths. He, he's biracial. His kids are more blacker than he is. And he has received the most death, death threats than any other president. He's the only president to be insulted in American history while addressing the nation, being called a liar, which translates to nigger, live on TV. Now, now the Tea Party comes up. Meanwhile, We've experienced two decades of, of, of decadence by non-black presidents, and nobody, no one has, has displayed such outright and blatant racist hatred towards a president. Not to mention the high unemployment rate amongst black people, and now they just recently want to take out ethnic studies. And they want to take out the civil civil rights stuff in 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 the, in the history books because they quote uh, once black people find out their history, they tend to become very uh, 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 quote. This is what some white lady said: violent, or rowdy. She said something along the lines of that. You damn right, this should be rowdy. 
Not to mention that white people have rewritten and, and, and tried to rewrite history various times to the point of trying to say that white people originated from an entirely another species. And fairly recently, I think it was 2005, 2006, in Africa, they actually tried biological warfare against the Africans. They, they did this here. It's called P Planned Parenthood. And then in Africa, they just did blatant biological warfare. And they went to trial for it. And they got set out free. But, but I bet you didn't know that, did you? Not to mention all the crap going on in the Congo. And your statements talking about uh, regretting, regretting slavery, none of that made any sense. Please re-clarify whatever you were trying, whatever type of point you are trying to make there. It just did not make any sense at all. Uh, on the Jewish statement, Jewish people are always reminding themselves about World War II. They make a damn movie about it every year. And there's a common saying amongst Jewish, Jewish people called, Never forget and never again. Steven Spielberg is a prime example. Even his mother, when he won awards on TV in 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 the nineties, she was like, "Oh, this is this is very good. I'm, I, it feels special to me because you know, being Jewish and all." Yes, they remember, and they don't get hounded and ridiculed for it. And I have never said black people should not try to achieve anything because of our our current situation. It's because we have tried to achieve something that we have gotten to the point we are at. With this type of thinking, my type of thinking, not your type of thinking. It's, it, like Miss Tupman said, I could have freed many more slaves if only they knew that they were actually slaves. Yes, that is still prevalent today in the, in the black community. And you're trying to compare America to Africa? Africa was colonized. Jesus, go, go learn the history of Africa. They're not like that just because barbarians and all kinds of crap. I mean, they were colonized. They were under control of other people. Go, go read up on the Haitian Revolution and what the French did. You're acting like black people couldn't and never tried and never had done anything for themselves. They've been colonized. And, and people have been blatantly and openly racist against them to this day. As far as DNA, please go do your research on DNA and admixture. You can have admixture and still be sub-Saharan African. It depends on the majority of your DNA and it even gets more complex than that. Please go to a DNA forum and study and do a small amount of research before you make such nonsense comments. As far as people tracing their roots back to Africa, duh, that is because Africans are the first people. Jesus Christ. White people, all Asiatics, and Mongoloids are all mutations off of African people. This is scientific fact. White people know this. They tried, to, they tried not to admit this for a while, and they tried to fabricate uh, artifacts to say that white people originated elsewhere due to racism, but it's scientific fact now. It took, it took I don't know how many years to get that thing uh, uh, fixed. So, so please, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> I, I am the reason... That racism is still a problem in America? Are you ser you're serious by that comment? I have not done or d done anything racist, and, I, and I'll address the the interracial dating problem s stuff in another video. I'll address all of that. That that deserves another video or two videos of its own because it's not just a simple problem. There are many aspects that go into this thing, and the reason the reason why I I have this belief. But you know what? If you wanna, no one has ever told me who who I can and cannot date. I came to this thoughts. I came to th these thoughts on, on my own mind. Okay, I came to these conclusions myself. Has nothing to do with racism. How? I've I've dated other races when I was unconscious. I've done these things when I was unconscious. But when, when again, once again, when I saw things for what they really were, that's when I woke up. And I think th every everyone with a like mind like mine or have experience like me has had the same uh, 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 moment where they just realize, wow, we are in a shithole. And it doesn't matter if I can go to the store and buy a pair of Nikes that a black person didn't make or go turn on my light that a black person didn't make. Go put on my FUBU that's that not even fully owned by black people. Go, turn, go watch BET that's not even fully owned by black people. Jesus, I'll, I'll address the interracial dating in another video. I just had to get that stuff out of the way.